Welcome to my black dog. Today we are going to discuss anti-cancer drugs. In the previous lecture we discussed the folate antagonist but now we are going to discuss purine antagonist. Actually there are a lot of mechanisms through which we can treat the cancer. So in that situation in this lecture we discuss the purine antagonist. Basically three most important drugs that are actually fall in the uh, purine antagonist. First one is the 6 mark captopurine fludarabine and cladribine. So if you see here, 6-mark uh, captopurine, 6-mark captopurine, okay, fludarabine, fludarabine, this is the second drug, and last is the cladribine. Now, these are basically the purine antagonists. Actually, we just focus on the basic things. What is cancer? Cancer is basically the growth of the abnormal cells in our body. Now, the our main focus is to stop the growth of the cancer. So, if we, as we know that the cell divide through the cell cycle. So, in that situation, if I stop or destroy the cell cycle, then I can stop the growth of the cell division that actually cause the uh, cancer. So, if you see here, four most important points that are actually involved in the cell cycle. So first one is the st starting from the G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase and last one is the mitotic phase. These three uh, phases are basically the interface in which the cell prepare itself for division and M for mitotic that in which you will see the division of the cell. Okay. Now the most important thing is the S phase. So if you see S phase in which the you will see the synthesis of the DNA happen in the S phase. And if I block or incorporate the wrong nucleotide into the DNA, I am saying if I block the production of the DNA or incorporate wrong nucleotide to the DNA, then I can stop the cell growth or cell division. So, this is the most important point which you have to remember and we will discuss how can we uh, store or incorporate the wrong nucleotide in the DNA. Okay, so purine basically you will see the two most important nucleotide actually fall in the purine. So first one is the adenine. So if you see this is the structure of the adenine and this is the structure of the guanine. Okay. They are quite similar but the difference is basically the oxygen and the amino group. Okay, this is actually the uh, purine that is actually double ring. Pyramid is basically the single ring. Okay, so they are basically the normal situation that are actually incorporated into the DNA. As you know that in the DNA you will see adenine is in front of the thymine and guanine is in front of the cytosine. So here are basically the DNA composition. So in, involved of the adenine and guanine. Okay. Now um, we will discuss uh, most important is the marcapto. In this lecture, we main focus our main focus will be on the six marcapto purine. Okay. So if you see like this is the structure of six marcapto purine. Okay, why do we call it 6 mark capto? Mark capto is a basically a functional group and that functional group is having this one, SH. This functional group is called mark capto or I can say thiol. Okay, and it is actually present at the 6th position of the ring. So that's why I call it 6 mark capto. And that structure is similar to the purine ring. So that's why I called 6 marcaptopurine. So now, but uh, just you will see the change of the functional group from the purine. So it becomes antagonist. Okay. And it is actually the analogous to the hypoxanthine. But if you see here, like in the hypoxanthine, you will see the group oxygen and that we called it uh, analog. So so this is actually the hypoxanthine. Okay, now we will discuss now the mechanism of the 6 mark capitopurine, how 
it blocked the synthesis of the DNA or incorporated the wrong nucleotide into the DNA. So, first of all, the most important drug is the azothioprine. So, if you see here, azothioprine. Azothioprine is actually a prodrug. So, it is actually a prodrug. This is the inactive form of the drug. Okay. Now, azothioprine will convert into the 6 mark aptopurine. So, this point is very much important. It will convert into the 6 mark aptopurine. Now, it is the active form of the drugs. When we take the azothioprine, it will convert into the 6 mark aptopurine in our body. Now, it will uh, take the action. Okay. 6 mark aptopurine will convert into the 6 thioinosine monophosphate. So, this is actually, if you see here, like 6 thioinosine monophosphate. And that is actually called the TIMP, TIMPT, this compound, 6 mark aptopurine convert into this with the help of the enzyme. And that enzyme is actually called the HGPRT, so with the help of this enzyme. You can remember it by the H. GPT, as you know that the chat GPT is becoming famous. So, you can remember it by the GPT. Okay. This is actually the hypoxanthine guanine phosphoriboside transferase enzyme. I am saying hypoxanthine guanine phosphoriboside transferase convert the 6 bar captopurine into the 6 thioinosine monophosphate. Okay. Now, this compound will go toward two conditions. It will form 6-thio-guanine nucleotide. Okay. This is actually the guanine nucleotide. But this is actually not the this guanine. Actually, this is simple guanine. Not you will see the addition at the 6th position you will see the addition of the thio group. So, if I add the uh, alternative form of the guanine to the DNA, so what will happen? So, if I say that instead of adding guanine, if I add the 6 thio guanine to the DNA, then what will happen? It, if you see the mutation in the DNA. And if there is mutation in the DNA, our body will not accept that cell in our body. So, what will happen? Our body will destroy that cell having mutation in it. So, in that situation, you will see it will incorporate into the DNA. Okay. And that DNA is actually the mutating because it is, it this DNA has no normal governing. So, in that situation, it will go towards the apoptosis. Our body will not accept that cell having mutation in it. So, in that situation, it will go towards the apoptosis. Now, I see that the I can actually destroy the cell with the help of the 6 mark capture as we, our main focus is on the destruction of the cell, cancer cell. So, in that situation, I can uh, destroy the cell. Okay, next thing is the, it can go towards the another compound. And that compound is actually the methyl mark captopurine ribonucleotide. So, if you see methyl marcaptopurine ribonucleotide. These, this compound is actually inhibits the synthesis of the purine. De novo synthesis, that is actually the new synthesis that is in what, uh, that is happens in our body. So, in that situation, you will see it block the Purine synthesis. Okay, now this purine synthesis has been blocked. And in that situation, I can block the division of the cell. If there is 
no purine, there is no synthesis of the DNA, there is no division of the cell. So in that situation, first of all, by the incorporation of the wrong nucleotide to the DNA, I can destroy the cell. And for and other thing is the by the inhibition of the purine synthesis, I can stop the division of the cell. Next thing is the now six mark after purine has another part, two other pathway as well. It can goes to the thio thio uric acid and that is formed by the xanthine oxidase and that is I'm actually convert the 6 mark captopurine into the thiouric acid and that can be executed from our body okay 6 mark captopurine can also go into another compound and that compound is actually the methyl mark captopurine 6 mark captopurine will convert into the methyl mark captopurine with the help of the enzyme and that enzyme is the tp mt thiopurine methyl transferase enzyme that is involved in the conversion of this now these compound can be excreted so uh, what is purpose of these two cycle these two branches actually if i say that if i take the 100 percent six mark captopurine 50 percent goes towards the action process in this topic of the cell division and if i say like 20 percent goes to that process and 30 percent goes to this process and if you see that this is the normal process okay and if i take the drug and that drug is allopurinol what drugs allopurinol so if you see allopurinol that drug is actually block this enzyme xanthine oxidase xanthine oxidase and if i block this enzyme that this process will stop and remaining this 30% which are 6 mark captopurine 30% that are actually converting into the uric acid will stop and in that situation you will see this 30% will be added into this one. Now it will become 80%. 50 plus 30 become 80. Now the activity of the 6 mark captopurine will enhance. So it will affect the other cells as well. You will see the immunosuppression along with the anti-cancer effect. So in that situation, you will see the immunosuppression, myelosuppression will enhance. So we will uh, see it later. So hope so you got the point, allopurinol. So next we will see the treatment. Actually, this uh, 6 mark captopurine is actually most important in the ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. That is actually the cancerous state. And next is the Crohn's disease. Why? Crohn's disease is actually an inflammatory bowel uh, disease and it is actually caused by the immune system. If I suppress the immune system, then I can treat it as well. How do I suppress the treatment by taking the 6 mark captopurine? Because as we know that the two important cells that are actually involved in the immune system, T cell and B cell. And if I block the cell cycle, then the obviously T cell and B cell will also be blocked. And if I block the T and B cell, then as a result, you will see there is no immune system. So immune system cannot be activated to the our GIT tract. So as a result, I can treat the Crohn disease as well. So that's why I can take the 6 mark captopurine for the treatment of the Crohn's disease. Okay. Now you will see the adverse effect. In the adverse effect, you will see the hepatotoxicity. Hepatotoxicity. Toxicity of the liver. Next is the other adverse effect is NVD. You can remember it by the as a uh, novidate. So in that situation, you will see N stands for nausea, V stands for vomiting, and D stands for diarrhea. These are basically the adverse effects of the a purine antagonist. Next, you will see the myelosuppression. Myelosuppression. You will see the decrease in the red blood cell, uh, uh, white blood cells, and the platelets as well. And that can be, if I, if you take the six mark after purine, 
then I can check it by the CBC report, LFT and RFT test. So that will help me in understanding how the medicine is working in our body. So next if we talk about the interaction. So interaction you will see three most important drugs that are actually interact with the six mark after print. First one is the warfarin, allopurinol that we have just discussed that how allopurinol and the 6 mark captopurine work and you can also see that the sulfamethoxazole these are basically the different drugs that are actually interact with the 6 mark captopurine and last most important is the 6 mark captopurine inversely proportional to the allopurinol so if i take the allopurinol along with the 6 mark captopurine that uh, it, you should be cautious about its different adverse effects. How? As we discuss later, that if I take the, uh, let's suppose, if I take the 6 mark aptopurine in a large amount, and I also take the allopurinol in large amount, then what will happen? Listen, what will happen if I take the 6 mark aptopurine in large amount, 100%, and if I take the allopurinol also in large amount, then what will happen? This process has been stopped. Okay. Now, the majority 6 mark captopurine will go to this cycle and what actually do in this cycle is the blockage of the cell. So, division. so as a result, you will see the myelosuppression. If your immune system decrease, immunity decrease, then what will happen? Other disease, chances of the other disease will increase. So, you should take 6 mark captopurine and allopurinol in constant concentration. Okay, so that is the inverse relation. If you take 6 mark captopurine in large amount, then the allopurinol concentration should be in low amount. So, in this way, that can prevent you from the harmful effect of the allopurinol along with the 6 mark captopurine. So, this is all about the anti cancer drugs, specifically purine antagonist. If you have any question, then you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.